Hello folks, welcome to today's demonstration video of my eShop project. In this video, I am going to explain about the basic UI design of our watch list. So without further ado, let's get into this. As you can see, I am currently on the home page of our eShop. To access the watch list page, we can use this drop down menu here like this. Alright, now we are on our watch list page. On top of this page, you can see our basic eShop header section like this. As usual, you can see our basic footer section on the bottom like this. You can see our page title here like this. It is showing with the heart icon like this. Then you can see a search bar here like this. We can use this search bar to search products that we added to our watch list. To start searching, we can use this search button here. Then to the left, you can see kind of a breadcrumb design here. If we want to go back to our home page, we can easily do that by using this. Then we can see a navigation pills section here like this. We can use this to go back and forth between our watch list, our cart and our reasons. This section is showing products that was added to the watch list as you can see. This is showing the product image here. Then here it is showing the product title, then here it is showing the product color, then here it is showing the product condition. Then here it is showing the price of a unit. Then the available quantity and the name of the seller. On every single one of these products, we can see a buy now button, add to cart button and a remove button. Alright, let's get into the coding side of things. So now I'm going to VS Code as you can see. I'm currently weaving the watchlist.php file. To keep this page running in the state, it should be I'm linking some other files inside of it. First inside these head tags, I'm linking bootstrap.css file, then bootstrap icons.css file, then our own style.css file. Then by the bottom of the body tags, I am linking bootstrap.bundle.js file and our own script.js file. Then inside of this PHP script, I am including our header part.php file like this. Then inside of this PHP script, I am including our footer section.php file like this. These codes are deciding our page title weaving section as watch list like this. We are adding a heart icon to the end of it like this. Then these are the codes of the search bar. We are setting a placeholder to that search bar input field like this. Then these are the codes of search button right after the search bar. We are deciding our breadcrumb design here like this. Then under that these are the codes of our navigation fields design. Then these codes are designed in the empty view of the watch list. In the empty view it is giving a text like this. Then it is giving a button as start shopping. When watchlist is not empty, these codes are set in the products inside of it. These are the codes of buy now button, then these are the codes of add to cart button. Then finally these are the codes of remove button. Then let's see the responsiveness of our page to various display resolutions. This is the view that we are getting on a larger display resolution. Let's see view of our page on a smaller display resolution. So now I am decreasing the display resolution virtually like this. Look now our page has a more compact view to fit on that smaller display resolution. Well that's all about it. So folks that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.